Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Did you know that weather and climate are different? Seriously. Perhaps you already know what the weather is. We talk about weather all the time. Weather is what we use to talk about the day-to-day -day temperature and precipitation or amount of rainfall an area gets. So if I were to tell you it's raining, that would be telling you the weather report today. Or if I said tomorrow it's going to snow, tomorrow the weather would be snowy. The weather is different depending on where you are in the world. If, for example, if you live in Texas, it's usually over 100 degrees and sunny on most days in the middle of August. And that is very hot. On the very same day in August, if we looked at Australia, we would find that it might be snowing. On a rainy day in London, it could be completely sunny in Brazil. Now, if instead we looked at the weather of the same places in February, we would see something quite different. It may be raining and windy in Texas and completely sunny in Australia. It could be snowing in London in February and raining in Brazil. But hey, that's kind of confusing. How can there be so many different types of weather happening all at once? Well, I have a simple explanation for you. But we've got to do a little learning and a little bit of remembering first. You ready? Now, a common mistake in science is to confuse the word weather with the word climate. Now, you may ask, well, aren't they the same? Well, not exactly. Although these two words are sometimes used to mean the same thing, they're actually very different. Weather can change from day to day. One day it could be sunny and the next rainy. Climate, though, doesn't change so easily. Climate is a set of weather conditions that exist in a place over a longer period of time. Wait, 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 hold on a second. You probably remember, trends are a type of pattern or similarity that we see in the weather. And you can look at trends and compare them over time. So when we talk about climate, we are really talking about a trend of weather over a long period of time. No matter where we look all over the world, the weather could be different every day. However, the entire world is broken up into what's called climate zones. Climate zones are exactly like their name sounds. They are specific zones or areas with similar climates or trends in weather patterns. Now take a look at this map and look closely and carefully. It shows all the different climate zones in the whole world. And look at the colors. This map tells us that countries in different parts of the world have similar climate patterns. Now let's look at a few places in the same color on our map. Ooh, isn't it crazy to think that Northern Africa has a very similar climate to Western Australia? Well, according to the colors on our map, it's true. And Russia has a similar climate to Northern Canada, too. That's cool. It's kind of neat to think that countries can be very far apart but have similar climates. Now let's go back to Texas, Australia, Brazil, and London, those examples from before. What do you notice? Every one of these places are different colors on our map. And this means that each and every one of these places has a different climate. So although they can each have sunny, rainy, or even snowy days, they belong in totally different climate zones. Based on our map, we can see that there are four major climate zones. And those four zones are tropical, arid, uh, that means dry, temperate, that means mild, and polar zones. Tropical zones would be places like the rainforest, and they're usually around the equator or the center of the earth. Arid, uh, those would be some places like a desert. The polar zone would be at the top and the bottom of the earth, and the temperate zone would be between the polar and the tropical zone. Now, if I gave you a minute, could you find where you live on this map? I'm sure you couldn't see your house here, but could you at least see the area that you live in? North, east, southwest? Depending on where you live in the world, your climate zone is specific to that place. Remember, weather and climate are different. Weather is what is happening on a specific day, and climate is weather over a longer period of time. I wonder what other surprises the weather is hiding. Come on, let's go find out in our next video.